How's it going everybody? John McLennan here and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to play Tuesdays Gone by Leonard Skinner on guitar. I'm going to show you the main acoustic guitar part that goes through the entire song. I'm going to break down the chords, the strumming patterns, and all the sections so when you're done with this lesson you'll be able to go and play right along with the original recording. Now this song is in the key of A and uses a 6-8 time signature. We're going to do some 6-8 strumming patterns and also incorporate some arpeggio picking. But before we dive into it, I want to hook you up with something right away. At the first link down below, you can get some free tabs for lessons here on my channel. I know a lot of the times following along with a lesson on YouTube can be tough without a tab. So check that out as my gift to you at the first link down below. And with that said, let's Let's dive into this lesson. Let's break down how to play Tuesdays Gone as recorded by the Allman Brothers on guitar. Now I'll be counting this out in a 6-8 time signature. The song's in the key of A and we're going to start off with the intro that goes like this. A one, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, so I'm starting out on an A chord, and I'll be playing this from the 5th string down, open, 2, 2, 2, open. Then we're going to go to an E chord, that's all 6 strings, open, 2, 2, 1, open, open. And most people play it like this, I actually play it like this, I'm just covering 2 strings there with 1 finger. But that's your standard E chord there. And then we move up to an F sharp minor bar chord here. Now this is a bar chord on the second fret, two, four, four, two, two, two. Now I prefer these thumb chords, they're easier for me. So that's just the same chord there, just using my thumb to play it. And then we go to D, which is from the fourth string down, open two, three, two. So each one of those chords lasts one bar. So we're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we repeat the first two bars again. A, two, three, four, five, six, E, two, three, four. Then we have two bars of D. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, now for our strumming pattern, I'm gonna be playing just six strums per measure. I'll be playing an eighth note pattern. And if I put that together with the chords, it's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's all downs. F sharp minor, D, A, electric lead comes in. Now there is a little lick I like to do where you can incorporate some arpeggio picking and you can do this in the last two bars so instead of playing a D chord here you can go so what I'm playing there is a D sus2 so I've opened up that first string it's a great chord and I'm picking strings 4-1-2 See that there? And then we go and repeat this again. And arpeggio pick. Train roll on, then the vocal comes in play the same thing. We'll do it two times here for the verse. Then 
we hit the chorus here, and this is where the lyrics come in, Tuesday's gone with the win. It sounds like this. So what I'm playing there, I brought in one new chord. I brought in a G chord, and that comes in bar two. So we're gonna start on the A chord for six beats, then we'll go to the G chord. And you can play any G that's comfortable for you. You know, I'm playing this folk G here with two fingers, my ring finger and my pinky, and I'm muting that fifth string. And then we go to D for two bars. Okay, now here I'm mixing up the strumming pattern a little bit. Instead of just one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, which you could just keep doing that same pattern, that's fine. But if you want to add a little bit more energy, you can go. So what rhythm I'm changing to there is one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and one, two, and three, and four. So I'm I'm going down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. So it's basically down, down, up, down, up, or one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and and then repeating one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and down, down. go to A, my baby's gone, E, then arpeggio pick, and then we go back to that first progression. Now we're going to play everything again, and once we get to the second chorus here, it's actually going to become extended. We're going to play that first progression, A, G, D, we're going to play that three times, so it's going to sound like this. Repeat that. Tuesday's gone with the wind. Last time. And then we tie that in with the way we finish the first chorus. My baby's gone with the wind. And then we go to the piano solo. Now for the piano solo, we've got different changes here. The piano solo goes like this. So what happens during the piano solo is the first six bars are exactly the same as the intro, but in bar seven and eight, we're gonna play an F sharp minor to a G. So piano solo goes like this, A, E, and I'm back to that first strumming pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six, D, two, three, four, five, six, A, E, F sharp minor, G. Then we come out of this to the, the chorus. And this is kind of where the strings come in here after the piano solo. All right, there's one final section we have to look at, and this is the outro, and this is how the song ends. So we're playing, it's kind of like the intro. We go A, E, F sharp minor, D. Then we go A, E, and we go D. Okay, so that's basically the intro, but then we repeat back to just A, Do those three chords for the ending. A, E, and you can 
strum here, D. Or you could go A, E, and do arpeggio picking. Have fun practicing Tuesdays Gone by Leonard Skinner on guitar. Make sure to take it slow and count out as you go. Just one, two, three, four, five, six. That's going to help you get the time and the groove together. Before you go, don't forget to get my free tab sample pack at the first link down below. This is going to be some digital downloads that you can get that go along with some lessons here on my YouTube channel. So if you get value out of just watching the lessons, you're going to get a ton more out of seeing these examples and things that I'm playing written out. So check that out as my gift to you. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to go and check out the hundreds of other lessons I have completely for free on my channel. Thanks for your support here, and we'll catch you in the next video.